Hello everyone and welcome back to Paddock Chats with RS. Today I will be talking about the race which happened two weeks back, the Russian Grand Prix. This Grand Prix was held at the Sochi Autodrome in Russia. It has a track length of 5.848 kilometers and is a 53 lap race. Starting first on Sunday, we had Lando Norris in the McLaren with his first pole start and joining him on the front row was Carlos Sainz bagging the best qualifying result of his career as well. Future teammates George Russell and Lewis Hamilton were on the second row, followed by Daniel Ricciardo and Fernando Alonso in the third row. Former teammates Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez were 7th and 8th, with Esteban Ocon and Sebastian Vettel finishing the top 10. The Alfa Tories of Gasly and Sonoda were 11th and 12th, followed by Kimi Raikkonen in 13th. The Haas teammates Schumacher and Mazepin followed in 14th and 15th. Valtteri Bottas started 16th after being penalised 15 grid places for using additional power unit elements. Giovinazzi started 17th after being penalised 5 grid places for an unscheduled gearbox change. Latifi, Leclerc and Verstappen also started from the back of the grid for use of additional power unit elements. As the trend has been this season, the first corner was very exciting. Lando Norris had a good start and took the lead in the corner, with Russell and Sainz in second and third. Hamilton, Ricardo, and Russell were fighting for the third position. In corner two, Sainz took the lead with Norris second, Russell third, Stroll fourth, Alonso fifth, Hamilton sixth, and Ricardo seventh. In lap two, Hamilton overtook Alonso for the sixth spot in a high speed chase. In lap six, Verstappen overtook Bottas for the 14th spot. In the 10th lap, Verstappen overtook Leclerc for the 12th spot in a very close battle where the two cars just might have made contact. In lap 13, Norris and Sainz had a heated battle for the P1 spot. After trying and complaining about his tyres, Norris was finally close enough to break late and overtake Sainz to lead the race, which he did. In lap 23, Daniel Ricciardo pitted to change from the medium tyre compound to the hard tyre compound and was stuck in the pits for 8 seconds. He came out 13th, just behind George Russell. Hamilton and Verstappen were next to pit in lap 27. Both of them had a normal stopping time in the pits. Hamilton dropped from P2 to P9 and Verstappen dropped from P5 to P11. Lando Norris pitted in lap 28 and came out in 4th behind Sainz, Alonso and Leclerc. Lap 47 is where everything changed. Lando Norris was leading, Hamilton was second and Sainz was third. At this time, we saw a little bit of rain on the track. Norris was trying his hardest to stay on track and not pit to change from the slick tyres to the intermediate tyres without spinning or going wide on these slicks. Norris held Hamilton off beautifully until the rain started to get heavier. Meanwhile, the Aston Martin teammates Vettel and Stroll were trying to carefully manoeuvre their cars in the rain until they made contact and suffered significant damage to their cars, but they did not retire. In lap 49, Lewis Hamilton pitted to change his slick tyres to the intermediate tyres, whereas when the McLaren team asked Norris his opinion on pitting, he screamed, no. This is where everything started going wrong for Lando Norris. In lap 51 of 53, Hamilton was right behind Norris on the right tyres and Norris was still on the slicks. Lando Norris just slid off the track due to no grip whatsoever and Hamilton took the lead of the Russian Grand Prix. Later that lap, Lando Norris finally pitted to change his tyres and came out in 7th. Lewis Hamilton won the Russian Grand Prix and is the first driver ever to reach 100 victories. What a magnificent achievement. Max Verstappen raced amazingly and moved from last place on the grid to P2. Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari was third, followed by Ricardo, Bottas, Alonso, Norris, Raikkonen, Perez and Russell completing the top 10. Mick Schumacher did not finish a race for the first time in his F1 career due to an engine issue. Lewis Hamilton leads the Drivers' Championship by just two points and Mercedes leads the Constructors' Championship by 33 points. So what do you think McLaren's strategy should have been? Should they have asked Lando Norris, who's not very experienced in these conditions, about a tyre change? Or should they have just given team orders like Mercedes did for Lewis Hamilton? Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed.